You ever stare at a shiny gold chain and wondered, where does that bling even come from? Forget leprechauns and hidden pots. Gold mining is a real fascinating process. In this video, we're going on an adventure. From deep underground caverns to high-tech mills to uncover the secrets behind unearthing this precious metal, we'll see giant drills chewing through rock, witness the science behind separating gold from dirt, and even explore eco-friendly ways to keep this treasure hunt sustainable. So, grab your pickaxe, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the world of gold mining. Chapter one, unearthing riches. A look into modern gold mining. Our story doesn't begin with pickaxes and shovels. Instead, imagine a team of geologists akin to detectives piecing together a puzzle. Their mission? To identify areas with a high probability of harboring gold deposits. These modern day Sherlocks utilize a sophisticated arsenal of tools and techniques. Aerial photographs paint a detailed picture of the landscape revealing subtle variations in rock formations that might hint at hidden riches below. Advanced technology plays a crucial role. These invisible forces can be subtly altered by the presence of gold deposits, providing valuable clues to geologists. Imagine a giant metal detector, not scanning the surface, but peering deep into the Earth's core. Once a promising location is pinpointed, it's time for core drilling. This vital process involves a specialized rig that resembles a giant industrial drill. Picture a powerful machine meticulously extracting long cylindrical rock samples from the Earth's depths. These cores, acting as geological biopsies, are meticulously analyzed by geologists. They examine the rock composition, searching for telltale signs of gold and its associated minerals. The core samples unlock a wealth of information. Not only do they reveal the presence of gold, but they also tell the story of the deposit's geological history. This knowledge is crucial for determining the most efficient and sustainable method of extraction. Imagine a map drawn not with ink and paper, but with the very rock itself, guiding miners towards the hidden treasure. Beyond the surface, different mining techniques. The chosen mining method depends on the location and depth of the gold deposit. Open pit mining, for instance, is employed when the gold lies relatively close to the surface. Here, massive machines transform the landscape, creating colossal craters as they remove layers of rock and earth. It's a testament to human ingenuity, utilizing colossal equipment to access the hidden riches below. However, for deeper deposits, venturing underground becomes necessary. A network of tunnels is meticulously carved into the rock, creating a subterranean labyrinth that stretches far beneath the surface. Safety is paramount in these mines. Sophisticated ventilation systems ensure a constant flow of fresh air for the miners, while robust support structures prevent cave-ins. Imagine a meticulously planned city, built not above ground, but deep within the Earth itself. Chapter two, delving deep, unveiling the Earth's hidden vaults. With the location of the gold deposit identified, the mining method is carefully chosen based on the depth and accessibility of the treasure. For shallower deposits, open pit mines become the scene of a remarkable display of human ingenuity and large-scale machinery. Imagine a colossal amphitheater carved into the earth, its tiers revealing layers of rock and soil methodically removed by gargantuan excavators and haul trucks. These open pit mines resemble human-made canyons a testament to the relentless pursuit of resources hidden beneath the Earth's surface. However, for deeper deposits, venturing underground becomes the only option. Here, a network of tunnels resembling a subterranean maze is meticulously carved into the rock face. Precision drilling rigs, operated remotely for safety reasons, create the initial passageways. These mechanized marvels can drill with incredible accuracy ensuring the tunnels follow the path of the gold vein. As the initial tunnel network expands, support structures are erected to prevent cave-ins. These can be elaborate frameworks of steel or a combination of rock bolts and shotcrete, a special type of concrete formulated for underground applications. But the real muscle behind extracting the ore comes from a different kind of technology. Automated hauling vehicles resembling giant self-driving dump trucks navigate the underground labyrinth 
with precision. These robotic workhorses tirelessly transport the extracted ore to designated collection points, significantly reducing the risks associated with traditional manned vehicles in such confined spaces. Chapter 3, The Alchemist's Touch, Separating Gold from Stone. The backbreaking work of extraction is complete. Mountains of rock now sit transformed into a fine, homogeneous powder. But this isn't gold dust yet. It's a mixture, a blend of rock and the precious metal we seek. Separating them is where the magic happens, a process that relies on a fascinating application of chemistry, almost like alchemy of old. The key to unlocking the gold lies in a specially formulated solution. Water, the universal solvent, plays a vital role, but it needs a partner, a specific chemical with an affinity for gold. Enter sodium cyanide, a compound that can selectively bind to gold particles at a microscopic level. But there's one more crucial step. The mixture now needs a good shake. Enter air agitation. Powerful pumps introduce oxygen into the solution. This might seem like a simple addition, but it triggers a key chemical reaction. The oxygen interacts with the cyanide gold complex, further breaking down the bond between the gold and the rock, ensuring the most efficient extraction possible. The result, a pregnant solution, rich in dissolved gold particles. It's like panning for gold on a massive scale, but instead of sifting through water in a riverbed, we're utilizing a sophisticated chemical process to separate the gold from the unwanted materials. But our journey isn't over yet. The gold-laden solution needs to be separated from the remaining rock particles. This is where a series of sophisticated filters come into play. Imagine a giant colander, but instead of straining out vegetables, it's capturing the microscopic gold particles. Chapter four, from liquid to luster, refining the prize. Next comes a fascinating transformation precipitation. Specific elements like zinc or carbon are introduced, causing the dissolved gold to clump together and precipitate out of the solution. This creates a gold concentrate, a thick slurry rich in the precious metal. The transformation intensifies with smelting, the concentrate is mixed with specific materials and then subjected to incredibly high temperatures. This fiery process acts like a crucible, separating the gold from any remaining impurities. The molten gold, a mesmerizing orange glow, is then poured into molds, solidifying into a bar known as a door bar. However, this isn't the end of the story. Though it gleams, the door bar is only about 80% gold, still containing a mix of other metals. Chapter five, a sustainable pursuit, mining with responsibility. The focus isn't just on extracting gold, but on doing so with a commitment to the environment. Sustainable mining practices ensure future generations can continue to benefit from this valuable resource while minimizing the environmental toll. So there you have it. We've delved into the remarkable journey of gold from its hidden origins deep within the earth to its transformation into a coveted treasure. This exploration has showcased the fascinating world of modern gold mining, a blend of science, engineering, and a growing commitment to environmental responsibility. Want to see more explorations of the fascinating world of science and technology? Hit that subscribe button and join the notification squad for our next adventure.